The operation today focuses on what's nationally known as fatal four offences. They're the four offences that classically contribute towards road deaths. They are use of seatbelts, uh, speeding, drink, drug driving and inappropriate use of mobile phones. We recognise from statistics of those accidents that we analyse that they are key contributors to road deaths. And that's what today's about really, is about focusing on road users that fail to uh, adhere to that, to educate them, to get them to reflect, modify their behaviours and change the way that they drive so that ultimately we can prevent those road deaths. Last year we had 36 regrettably in Lincolnshire, 36 too many. That's why our staff are here today contributing towards that. Let's be clear, this is day-to-day -day business for us. The roads policing team here in Lincolnshire, the local team, concentrate on fatal four offences day in, day out, irrespective of hour of the day. Um, what this particular operation uh, focuses upon is able to take to another level. The scale of the operation is only enabled by the fact that now Lincolnshire forms part of the collaboration, the East Midlands Operation Support Service, MOPS as it's known for short. That looks like four forces all coming together, working collaboratively. So that's Lincolnshire, my own force here, Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire and Northamptonshire. So that what that enables is where perhaps the smaller teams are only able to do it on a much smaller scale day-to-day -day basis. Here today we've got four forces all converging, all collaborating, working together towards those fatal four. So in effect we've got four badges, one purpose, saving lives. We've got eight static sites. Uh, we don't just randomly pick eight static sites. They're based upon uh, various bits of intelligence and information. Uh, also relevant to crime to be fair as well, so that we make sure that the sites that we use are appropriate for Lincoln and Lincoln City. Um, and equally we look at trying to minimise uh, any disruption to road users that ought not to be affected by this campaign. There is some method in terms of how we select the road users. Clearly we only will disrupt those road users that we no or suspect are committing offences. So classically that's very easy to see from the roadside for us, i.e. they are using a mobile telephone, whether it be to the ear, or indeed they're looking towards the crotch if they're part of traffic and texting. That's a classic uh, tactic and something we clearly have to deal with uh, by not wearing the seatbelt and wearing it appropriately. Uh, and then clearly the drink and drug drive element is something around manual driving. Clearly speeding is based on opinion and indeed some collaborative tests that we take at the roadside. So a whole cocktail uh, of measures that we take to make sure that we deal with the right motorist, um, educate the right motorist and don't disrupt um, the individuals that don't need that educational enforcement. It's finding that balance. We spoke about how the Fatal 4 is drink and drug driving, so that's one of um, the focuses for today. Um, yes, this is a well-timed operation because of course it won't have escaped you that last night was the England-Uruguay match. Regrettable result. Um, however, what this starts to check is whether or not there are any morning after uh, drink and drug driving offences. Pleasing so far at the time of filming, we've not had any of those. And that's a real reassuring uh, message for me because it tends to suggest that the message is getting over. Similarly, uh, the number of speeders has been fairly low. The two common trends that we've had here are not wearing seat belts uh, where they should without an exemption and indeed uh, inappropriate use of mobile phones. So in effect they are driving whilst texting or indeed taking a call. It is not hands free. That's the two recurring things. But you're right, we find ourselves in the middle of a, a drink drive campaign. Operation Blackwater is the local operation name. Um, again, we're very proactive in relation to that. We've got the new text facility so that members of the community can um, inform and suggest those individuals that they believe to be drink drivers uh, by texting the relevant number and stating who, when, why uh, and in which vehicle, etc.